What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more Giro d'Italia here on PCM 2020 and we head to stage 16 for a massive day. 219k with plenty of climbs. We have this steep hill in the final on the finishing circuit and this is set to be another big day in the GC of course. Nibali did gain the Maglia Rosa in the previous episodes, but can Joao Almeida fight his way into pink? We get underway then, and I am wondering if they will allow James Knox, currently 10th place in the GC, off the front and in the breakaway. So we're attacking away, joining these guys right here. Let's see how they react, and it seems at first they're not gonna let him go. So sadly, Knox will not be allowed off the front. So instead, I'm going to try and attack with Peter Seri because I definitely want someone in today's breakaway to try and represent us and help out Almeida on a decent day as well as Knox later in the stage. So you know what, I'm gonna try and move right here as well with Davide Ballerini. We have Visconti and Galapan on our wheel. Hopefully we can get Ballerini here as well to help us out. So we have 12 riders up the road in today's breakaway. You can see them right here. We have Guerrero, Pedrero, as well as a few others. Hansen is up the road as well. And back in the Pelson we have a three minute gap to the guys at the front. So what this allows us to do is to just sit up with our Mesa and Knox, just follow the wheels here, and maybe later on we can attack up to either Ballerini or Seri on this difficult hilly section. So the Peloton have now reached the Monte Spig, and these very short or shorter but very steep climbs suit us today, I think, particularly Joao Almeida. And you can see the guys in the breakaway led by Ballerini. And so the breakaway are now approaching the intermediate sprint. And again, we're going to try and take these points with Davide Ballerini. So let's come to the front. If these guys try and sprint, I am ready to sprint. But I think they're going to let Ballerini take those points. Absolutely perfectly done right there. Closing the gap again to Arnold Demar. So we're now on to the Monte Puerta in the Peloton. And we need to up this to 95, I think, or even just 90 right here in the breakaway just to stay with these guys a really difficult climb over 10 percent and our guys on 75 Almeida can go to 80 just to make sure we're staying in a reasonable position in the main group whilst up the roads we have been dropped a little bit by the main guys in the breakaway and look at the peloton right now it's been a super hard tempo over that climb Kaiser has been dropped um, I think he may be able to come back on because a lot of these guys have energy uh, we have Micah behind as well so surely these groups will come back on here. Uh, just a very hard tempo over that climb. So Peter Seri is now done in the breakaway. Ballerini is done from that group as well. And this is such a difficult stage. We have 44 riders left at the front. Look at the finish here. Massive percentages. I think this is the finish line right here, which we'll come to in about 50 kilometers. But even Fausto Masnada really struggling. We are lucky we have good days with Almeida and Knox with Seri dropping back to help us out. So on this flat section, I think we're gonna lose Masnada and Seri pretty much at the foot of this climb. So instead, I'm going to go like this. I'm gonna put Almeida on James Knox's wheel. Knox is gonna try and carry the Portuguese man right to the front at the foot of this climb. What a job right there by the Brit getting us to the foot of this climb at the front of the Peloton. If Pernstana can get out the way, hopefully we can lay down a difficult tempo here with Knox and put some of our rivals in some difficulty, finding it very difficult on this very narrow road though. And you can see only Galapan left out front, but Knox can just uh, set a steady tempo, I hope. Masnada and Seri are long gone out the back. Riders all over the road here. So Uman and Pozzaviva are setting a really difficult tempo, but Knox is fine like this. We have 18 riders at the front. Yates is caught behind, Gegenhart as well. We have Hindley behind as well. Many strong riders are caught behind here, including Yates and Gegenhart. Uh, they are in crisis right now, but Knox has managed to keep Almeida to the front of the race with Nibley. The Maglia race is still here, of course. We have four riders just behind Yates, Gegenhart, and Lopez. Are they going to get back on? Going to be difficult for them. 30k to go. So we're coming to this next climb. Knox is feeling pretty good, so we can come in again. We'll go maybe 88 on this climb. You can see how steep it is right there, um, as we still have that group behind. I think Yates did manage to bridge the gap. But if Knox can keep this tempo up, it's going to be difficult for some of these guys. Keep it at 88. And you can see these guys sprinting to stay on as I think Gegenhart just about getting back on. Lopez is done for the day. We're creating some gaps again with Kreuzvik behind as well right now, as well as Yates. So this is perfect for us. But I really want to save 
Knox for that final climb, so a drop it to 59. I think these guys will come back on, but a lot of energy spent, that is for sure. And here we go, we're starting to see some moves right here with Uman upping the tempo. Okay, so we need to up Knox to maybe 84, and Peo Bilbao is on the attack right now, so is Potsavivo. Those guys going off the front, Kelderman is trying to go as well. We need to go to 90 right now with Knox. These guys are some way down in the GC, so in fact, Let's sit up right here. They're not really our battle. Our battle is with Nibali, Micah, and Geraint Thomas. They're all in the same group as us. We'll let Vlasov chase for Fusang right here as we are now approaching the final ascent of the difficult climb right here. So here we go into the foot of the climb. The three riders at the front have about a 20 second lead. Almeida though looking very, very good. Is this our opportunity to gain back? The Maglia, Rosa, Bilbao, Kelderman and Pozzo are pretty much caught as Knox is done for the day. I'll just drop him to the back of this group like that. That is fine for him. Sorry, Kanga, for blocking you right there. But anyhow, Almeida, going to try and keep it steady. We'll use our gel as well. We have 16 riders here, but many are struggling. Kruisvik is done. McNulty out the back. Vlasov done as well. Can we try something right now with Almeida on the attack? Here at the Giro d'Italia, I need to drop it now to 80, spending a lot of energy, but Nibali is in the group behind. We have a lot of energy gone, but we have a massive lead. The other favourites are looking at each other as we crest the climb with Almeida. Oh my words, we have a massive lead right now. What a lead by Almeida. We crest the climb. We need to drop this to maybe 65 right here. Look at our lead. These guys are just looking at each other. I can't believe what is happening. So for some reason, these guys are relying on Vlasov Nibali, playing it very cautiously. And we have an absolutely giant lead with Almeida. Honestly, can't quite believe how this has played out. But we're not going to complain too much because Joao Almeida is riding his way back into the Maglia Rosa here at the Giro d'Italia. 5k to go on the stage. We need to be a little bit careful with our energy as Gegenhart falls from behind. You can see the group here, some way down, and Almeida is going to cruise home to stage victory. So 2k to go for Almeida. I think our gap will come down. I cannot believe how this has happened, honestly. Crazy, crazy stuff by the AI, not really chasing Almeida as we come into the final kilometre right here. There is the finish. Almeida to 99, try and push it to the finish with sprints for the line. Celebrate across the line as well. Almeida wins another stage at the Giro and he gains back the Maglia Rosa in fantastic fashion right here. The group behind didn't react to his move and Nibali loses the Maglia Rosa a day after gaining it. I think it will be Fusang to finish second ahead of Thomas with Nibali in this group, but they all finished together. Joao Almeida is back in pink, now over a minute and a half clear of Vincenzo Nibali. Well guys, not quite sure what happened there to the AI, but they clearly didn't make a good decision. Even Knox, who we saw die early on that climb, made it back in as they just looked at each other, didn't follow Almeida, and now we have the pink jersey back. But looking ahead to stage 17 of the race, some massive climbs, you can see them right here. Massive day in the GC. Gonna be difficult to hold on to pink, but of course, we're gonna do our best. But if you enjoyed, guys, drop a like on the video. As always, drop a sub to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.